I'm Dave Hines. I'm David Clifton, and we are both undergraduates in Professor Naomi Leonard's lab at Princeton University. And we're working on controlling underwater autonomous vehicles. So our, our most important task here, what we were hired for, was to make a system to control these vehicles underwater. And to start that, we had to model them, make a good, accurate model, which we could use to predict how they're going to behave, and then control them like that. And this, this test bed setup allows us to test algorithms that have been proposed in theory but never used in the real world and see how they actually work before they're implemented in somewhere more expensive or more complicated. This is the beluga that we use for testing. Uh, the vertical thruster provides vertical motion, much like a helicopter. Um, these bolts hold down the black plastic top used for tracking. Uh, it provides very nice contrast against the white bottom of the tank for the cameras to pick up. This foam top um, is very buoyant relative to the rest of the beluga. This is the metal water tank compartment. It has the computer inside of it, the pressure sensor on the side over here, and then it's what um, controls the outputs uh, given via the tether here. This is the servo that angles this back motor and the back motor that provides thrust. Um, so it can do basically two degrees of freedom. Uh, this keel sort of works oppositely of the foam top um, and provides a lot of weight at the bottom to help to keep the beluga oriented. And that's pretty much everything. And we use four cameras hooked up to image processing software and a computer to give us the real-time position of the beluga in the tank. And this allows us to close the loop, which is our goal in the control system. So we know where we are and we know where we have to go, and that allows us to know how to get there. These four cameras are responsible for tracking the beluga in the horizontal plane. Um, each camera corresponds roughly with one quadrant of the tank. And as the beluga makes its way around the tank, the camera responsible for tracking it uh, switches automatically. On a day-to-day -day basis, though, we're looking at anything from a full day in the machine shop to sitting around testing MATLAB code, modifying you know, a, C, a full C program, tracking, or even just arguing about how best to make our model. There's, there's a whole lot of stuff we have to do. And now that we've fixed most of the things that were broken, we spend a lot of time tinkering with our model, adjusting parameters to make it represent the real system better, and comparing it to the real results. Well, what's, what's been really cool, I think I can speak for both of us on this, is that we've been able to take things we've learned in textbooks, learned, we've seen on paper, and actually implement them in the real world. There are no simulations here, you know? We actually take our algorithm, we write it up in code, and we run it, and we see what happens in the tank. We can tell if it works or not. And that's an experience we can't really have any other way.